What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Dying Light. My name is Splattercat, and I'm happy to have you here today as we continue to search out Jade. But for right now, we need to go find Tariq. And so once we find ourselves Tariq, he's going to tell us about the dungeons that are down beneath the museum where the bad children go. And after that, hopefully we'll be able to do some infiltration, maybe some light spy work. Considering we are a spy, I find our lack of spy work thus far to be a little bit concerning, but, you know, I guess maybe we put sneakery on the shelf for just a second. Sneakery's on the shelf. No! Grapple, 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 faster. There we go. Oh, they have a rooftop garden. These are actually really, really healthy for the environment. The reason why is that it helps out with the infiltration rates. So I studied hydrology in college because it's a sub-doctrine or a sub-discipline of geology. Hydrology is essentially just the way that, like, water and mud flows around. That's pretty much it. That's the entire... It was actually a pretty unstimulating class. You, friend. you got a deal for me, friend. All right. Let's go. I, I think... What do I want to do right now? I don't know. Oh, never mind. He's right. What? Wait, are you Tariq? So you're the new running guy. I am Bajram. I'm not much to look at. My scout. Wait, didn't we already talk? To I'm. Much. I'm pretty sure we already talked to Badger Ram. I don't want to talk to Badger Ram. Anybody that rams badgers is not a friend of mine, especially if he's done enough times to earn a name from it. Tariq, what do you want? We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Relax. Troy sent me. Troy? Oh, thank God. I've been a nervous wreck since I found this kid. He's got nobody to look out for him. But I'm not so good with kids, you know. That's not why I'm here. But Troy promised she'd send someone. I need to get into the museum. The museum? But Troy told me someone would come to help. She promised... Okay, Tariq. Y you tell me how to get into the museum and maybe I can sort out your problem here, okay? Rise controls the museum. He would kill you on sight. Well, then I can't have him see me. Now, Troy said you used to be the curator, and that if anybody would know a way in, it'd be you. So, how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? <laughs> no. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. Yeah, well, most likely isn't definitely, so... I guess I'll give it a try. This would be one of those times where I should probably, like, unlock those stimulants. Let's see here. Skillses. Got a survivor rank right there. I will probably... The boosters, I think. I think there might be a water-breathing booster. And while it's not my favorite thing to waste a point on just to get past, like, one storyline element, I wouldn't imagine... Well, by this point, you should probably have it, though, right? So we'll check it out. Let's see what kind of stimulants we have. I'd be almost willing to bet money that there's one that helps you breathe longer underwater, make our life a little bit easier. Oh, and I was wrong. That's what I get. That is what I get. Okay, well, oh, I forgot to put my katana on, too. Although I need to... See, the problem is, I think I used up all of my super awesome... Yeah, I've got a duelist. And I've got a gladiator, but I'd like to have something that increases... Oh, durability works, yeah. Do I have multiple titans by any chance, or do I just have... Okay, just go with the gladiator then. It's not my favorite upgrade that I've ever done, but I think it'll work for right now. And I didn't want to have anything in my inventory that hadn't been fully upgraded. Additionally, we could either add fire, leech, fastball... I mean, any melee weapon can take it. But we could add some pretty cool stuff to these weapons if we wanted to, and I do. Just as a little bit... Spoiler alert! I kind of do. Let's put Ben Franklin's key on this thing. 42 damage sounds nice. We don't use electricity a lot. I use fire and electricity mostly because they're my two favorite elements, but get rid of that kukuri for right now, or however you say it. People always correct me on the way I say words, and that's cool because you got to learn how to say things right sometimes, but still, sometimes it makes me sad because I can't remember. My memories ain't so good as... So, we need to swim underneath, find the underwater entrance. Yep, I want my katana, damn it. I'm using the scroll bar right now. Ooh. It just sort of like launched me right there. That was not me jumping like speaking. Remember, if you cannot reach the tower in time, get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good luck. All right. Let's see if I can speed my way across here. Straight up these rocks. And then as we make our way over to the museum, I'm hoping this swim isn't too bad. I I don't know what to expect from it. This might totally suck. Or it might be a lot easier than expected, but that guy clearly said that it was basically suicide trying to swim under the water. 
You would also think we could get our hands on scuba gear fairly easily in this environment. I don't know. There's usually a scuba shop around somewhere. If scuba is done, I mean, there's a scuba shop in my town, and it's not that big. It's been there since, like, the 50s, too. It's, like, the oldest scuba shop ever. It's the only thing from, like, back in the day that still hasn't gone out of business. And it's because everybody just kind of, like, goes there. Like, how many scuba shops do you actually need? It has no competition. And the specialized stuff that they carry is the sort of stuff that, like, Big Five doesn't have. Sports Chalet doesn't have. So, they've got themselves a niche market. It works out. They supplement it with, like, skateboards and surfing materials, too. Even though there's nowhere to surf within, like, an hour. You gotta drive for a bare minimum of 45... Well, not, I guess not. I... I don't think you could surf up in, like, the bay, though. Like, I've never seen somebody surf anywhere. I've seen people surfing out in Marin. And I've seen people surfing... I've never seen somebody surf out in San Francisco or whatever, though. But, like, along the Marin headlands out by Goat Rock and all that kind of stuff, I've seen people windsurfing out there. But I didn't think that would hurt me nearly as much as it did. I should learn to estimate better. I don't think that I need to use my grappling hook right there in order to get by. Is this the pond that we're looking for right here? I'd be willing to bet it probably is. There's a guy over here that wants to, he needs help, or does he want to talk? I liked how on the first map, there was a lot of little guys with, like, bonus storyline around who would talk to you. But right now, oh, it's just two of the big guys down there fighting with yet another individual who's gotten himself in too deep. All right, well, straight into the lake. It's weird how he can tuck and dive like that without too many problems. I don't know if I could tuck and dive that late into my descent. Turn on a flashlight right now and see if maybe this is going to be navigable. I also don't know how far out we need to go to do this, but... Let me make sure I'm going to the right spot right... Yeah, it's out there. Okay. Well, as long as we know that it's out here. Let me get some oxygen real fast. And then once we get out into our little search circle... Our searchical, if you will. Searchical? Hmm. I don't know if I like that very well. I don't know if I like that very well. I guess you could just spell it search with like a C-I-R-C-H, like a birch tree. But I don't know. It still doesn't feel quite right. It's not there yet. It's just not there. It's on the road, and it's trying real hard, and it's pressing the gas down, but we're swimming with an electrically modified weapon right now. Bad planning 101 when you're going in the water. Ah, there it is. All right, let's go get some... Let's, are these... What's in these? Are you speaking. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck. That's not too bad of a swim, I don't think. We might have to nail this, like, perfectly, though. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, now it's becoming quite a large swim. It's weird how something that you walk down, like, every single day doesn't seem that bad until you've got to swim through it. Once it is submerged, it is no longer... Why do they say submerged? Does that just mean that you've been merged subaquatically, I suppose? Because you're not really merging with something. Like, it's not like one of those Gotenks-type situations where you're actually fusioning with somebody. Like, a merge, when I think about a merge, two things are becoming one. If you're submerged, you're two, you're still two immiscible objects. You're not mixing in with one another. We need a new word. That's it. We need a new word. I'm taking it up. I'm taking it up the chain to the linguistic command. We're going to get a new word for it. Ooh, Rice's garrison. Jade's being held hostage at the museum. Choice is the place was originally... I'm so scared. I'm so scared of what you're bringing along. Let's see here. I'm going to get a gun out because these guys tend to enjoy the DACA, as do I. Turn on a flashlight for right now. Lots of blood spatters. That's how you know the psychos are... Oh, never mind. We're going back underwater again, I suppose. More swimming! At least we know that we got our cardio in for the day. I love swimming. Swimming is... That's unpleasant. Ew, don't touch me. Dead bodies underwater are so nasty. Dead bodies in water, too, because they bloat out weird. They're like, bleh, and they get all just kind of like... They get nasty, that's for sure. I'm going to try and cut corners the best I can right here. So you heard it here first, folks. Nerdcastle. Splattercat told me to cut corners as much as possible. Well, when swimming underwater, when you might conceivably run out of air. Cut corners, yes. In real life, maybe not. Wow, this guy's got some serious breath capacity. This guy's rocking out like some kind of ridiculous pearl diver or something. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Eh. More air. There we go. Shove it into my lungs with both hands, just nom nom nom, like those competitive hot dog eating guys, but with oxygen. Oxygen hot dogs. Oxygen dogs? I don't know. Oxygen? There we go. That'd be a little bit better, but I think it's just too many words. I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's continue forward. Let's continue forward. Hey, what's up, little fish with extremely low poly count? How's it going? Just hanging out underwater? Like, you know, just being underwater, looking all primitive. 
I wish that I had a few more polygons. It'd make me feel a lot better in life. But unfortunately, my maker didn't see fit to give them to me. So I'm just going to hang out and be all blocky and swim around. Fun fact, being blocky is not necessarily so conducive to actually being, you know, aqua dynamic or anything. So I feel like there was probably some fundamental failure in my design here. But we live with, I guess we live with the struggles that we're given. Some people missing a foot. Some people are really blocky fish. I don't know. There are a lot of dead guys down here. Did they flood this themselves, like, after there had already been bad guys down here? Or... Because it seems unlikely that this many zomb... Maybe zombies have no regard for drowning, though. Maybe they're not that worried about it. I don't want to throw a firecracker. Of all the things I am aware of, I know... Oh, God. My lungs. Should be saying, oh god, your bladder, because I know you peed in that water. Everybody does it, don't lie. Everybody does it. First things first, you get up in the shower every single time. Every single time. Up in the pool, yep. Don't act like you're not guilty, just go along with it. Everybody knows. You get out of No, not this again. How hard would it be to just bring like five or six antisin vials? Oh, I just fell off of. Alright. Was a pain. I hear you. I'm in. That was the easiest part of this. You realize that, right? You really suck at pep talks, Troy. Not my job. But good luck. Didn't she get like half her face burned off? Given that, I'd say she sucks at dodging fire, too. I don't know if that her pep talks versus dodging fire, I don't know which she's worse at. But I know that one left her with a scar, so you know, by my estimation. Probably not her worst skill set. <laughs> I'm such an asshole sometimes. I don't know, these things come into my mind and half the time I just suppress them. Ow. Cool. I didn't like having ribs anyways, forget it. I didn't want to have delicious, amazing, savory ribs right now. I haven't had ribs in a really long time. Oh, shit. Oh, and now you did. They have concerts? Alright, why don't I... So why at the beginning of the game did I not hang out with Rice? Is it the whole psychopathy and murdering people thing? All we saw is that he cut off one guy's hand. Maybe the guy totally deserted, but they've got concerts in here. And, you know, our society doesn't have concerts, and that's totally lame because I have a strong appreciation for the arts. I thought he dropped a cell phone for a second, but nope, it's just a stick that was on fire. You know, stick, cell phone that was on fire. It can be hard to tell the difference sometimes. Life's hard like that. Life's hard like that. What is this? Uh oh. So I'm gonna log in. What? It's like a login screen. I'm not even gonna think about it. It's too much for my brain right now. Yeah, I was gonna say it can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. Find a way into the museum. We probably just gotta do more climbing, right? That seems to be what this game is based around, so I would figure. Probably gotta do some sneaky, sneaky gangster shit. Like climb on top of a lamp like a badass. Although I will say this seems overly complicated. Does look like there's climb points up here. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, I guess there's not climb points up there. We can hope and we can dream, but it doesn't always result in any type of success. Oh, well... Ah. I, re I, I respect your ability to skid, my friend. I respect your ability to skid. <laughs> Skidding is a skill that takes a long time to get down. I'm probably doing completely and totally the wrong thing right now. Feel free to shout at me and yell at me and make me feel stupid. It's okay. It's like a daily occurrence for me, so I don't even get mad about it anymore. You are exhausted and you cannot use your grappling hook. That sounds kind of janky, actually. I feel like the game just sort of like moved the goalposts on us yet again. Maybe we climb up right there. Let's try that. If I can't figure it out in the next minute or two, I'll make a cut until I do feel... Oh, agility point. Hey, how's it going, pal? You want to be part of my? You want to be part of my physique? Cool. I forgot to spend my PowerPoint too. I know you don't got to tell me down in the comments. I know what I forgot. I don't know if I'm supposed to work my way around like that, but nothing right here. You know, it's probably way easier than I'm making it out to be. Probably trying to do all kinds of ridiculous, complicated stuff, and what you really need to do is just get up in here. I wasn't even sure what we were standing on right there. That or I could walk right by the thing that I used to climb through. Anybody need like a floor lamp? Just in case. Let me fiddle with this for a second. I'll figure it out.
We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys! Move it! Go, go, go! <sighs> well, great. I would show you how like, there's a panel over there. You know that login panel? You just break the panel, and then the door opens right up. Or maybe I tried to climb over it like an idiot. I don't know. There's a present for you. Ugh. We'll throw grenades around. I like how we're hiding behind priceless artifacts right now. I like how we're hiding behind priceless artifacts. That's special. Did that guy just take a shot to the face? You better not get back up. Fire in the hole. Ugh. Keep your fire in your own hole. I am not a storage receptacle for your fire. Ow. I'm going to keep getting point blank by guys with rifles. How about that? That's going to be my strategy for the day. Alright, you are now dead. That the best you got, Rise? I can do this all fucking day. Yep, keep throwing guys at me. Watch what happens. I will continue to catch them and then throw them back. Jesus. That was my only screen to watch Jade on. Now how am I supposed to watch Jade? Are they shooting from up above now too? I was going to say, they don't seem to be on this level. Like, why they can't get on my level, I don't know, but they need to. Is this fully breakable, or is it... Okay, it's security glass. It's not going to go anywhere. Security glass basically just means that it's covered in kind of like a Bondo type... Oh, look, there's another shotgun over here. A bunch of ammo, too, just in case you need that. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think that would work. We could try the shotgun out for a little bit. I mean, it might work better than... I don't know. It might work a little bit better than the pistol. Give it a go. Let me pan and scan this lower level first. They can, I think they're all on the upper level. So there's a guy on the catwalk right here. There we go. I think he should be taken care of. There's going to be a couple more a little bit long that way. I see him right there. They're sort of being sneaky snakes right now and like firing randomly through stuff. But I got him through that little thing. So it's all fair. We got him through the hole in the banister. You guys are little cheesers, you know that? Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like there's a grenade on screen. Is there a grenade on screen right? Do I have a grenade on me right now? I feel like there's a grenade on me right now. This guy should be either... There he is right there. Wait, can you fire through the glass? Oh, you can. The glass is actually permeable. Okay, that works out. That explains why they were able to shoot me. The glass is not bulletproof. Even though it looks like security glass, it is not. Right, another one bites the dust. Let's get ourselves some bullets right now, though, because I'm looking a little bit low. She's so lonely without you. She's waiting for you. Come and get her. I bet she's not even here. That would be my. I bet she's not even at the museum. It was just a trap to draw me out and bring me over here. And then the police rifle. Oh, it's the police rifle. That's why I was gonna say it's not the auto rifle. We've got enough ammo. I'm gonna get the shotgun since we're going corridor hunting here. Corridors put up a vicious hunt. You've got to be very careful about them. Yeah, how did that feel? Probably not so great, right? I've been trying to work that out of my vernacular, and I didn't use it for the entire last episode, so I feel like it's okay to use it once right here. Are you both dead? Good. I don't mean to wish for the death of another human being, but if they're going to slang metal at me in an aggressive fashion, then I figure we might as well return fire and hope that we hit them first. I'm going to bandage myself. I should probably cook up some grenades or something too while we're in here. Let me make some grenades real fast. Because I do like to use those against Rice's men. They don't seem to be very good at getting out of the way of shrapnel grenades. If you use this, you have to promise not to scream nailed them after it goes off. So I can make nail grenades. That sounds pretty cool. Let's make some pipe bombs that we can throw at them. Shrapnel grenades. Aren't all grenades technically shrapnel grenades? I mean, I know there's incendiary grenades and like gas grenades. 
Never mind. I'm going to stop this diatribe right now. I've worked my way through it and I found my logic to be wanting. But in general, I thought that the definition of a grenade was an object that throws like shards everywhere. Like the original grenades made back in like the colonial days when they would have line battles were essentially just musket balls filled up with powder so that they would blow up and throw shards all over the place and wreck people up real bad. Should probably make a couple of these too. We'll get some mollies in here. Okay, a couple more mollies popped. We get these grenades thrown in there. I don't think I'm going to be using the grappling hook anytime soon, so we will cycle it out for a Molotov. Find her, Come on. She won't wait for you forever. This room is super exposed, and I don't like it. I have no idea where they're going to come at me from, and so I don't know where to take cover at. I could end up ridiculously exposed and just taking all kinds of hits without even realizing it. Especially if they spring like a gotcha on me. So these gates over here are what we're looking for. Grain, grain, grain. Jade is dying to see you. <laughs> yeah, not really accurate enough to make this work. I hate how shotguns in these games are like blunderbusses. Like, they really, believe me when I say a shotgun is actually pretty accurate out to maybe like that wall over there would be where I would trust it. A shotgun can make a pretty long shot and still have enough pellet distribution if you're using the right type of ammo for what you're shooting at to do a serious amount of damage. Like, if you're shooting at birds, use bird shot, you know? If you're shooting at a human, I'd probably go with buckshot more than likely, but give them a good 8, 10 grains and they won't be feeling too good even if they're as far back as that wall over there. And technically, I am dropping them right now. It's just not doing amazingly well. Maybe it's my aiming that's off. He's coming in through. Oh, I shot his arm off at a distance. That sucks. Yeah, from right at this range right here, this gun should have, like, ripped that dude in half if it was using buckshot. Maybe we're just using birdshot, though, or some. I don't know. If you don't know the difference, birdshot is basically, like, 20 pellets that are really, really small. Bird. Anyways, if you don't know the difference between birdshot and buckshot, birdshot has really small grain pellets when it fires because you're just trying to wing the animal when you're hunting birds, whereas buckshot has very, very thick... Ow. You know what? I'm going to panic and stand in the middle of the room and just shoot at my enemies. Come on. I'm trying to fish out a kill right here, but it doesn't want to go for me. Ooh, it looks like we got problems out there. If I shoot that, does that open that? Maybe not. It was a hope. I was seeing if I could flood the place with zombies, ruin his little headquarters. If I can't get Jade back, he won't have a house to live in, so I feel like that's a pretty fair exchange. I take something from you, you take something from me. There it is. I, it feels weird referring to a human being as a something, so you know what? I'm not going to do it anymore. Either way, you took her, and I'm trying to rescue her right now. And if you could just, like, give her back, that would be great. She's a human being. She's not to be carried around and stolen like a sack of flour. What is this? Is it like some kind of, like, blood offering fountain? No, it's just a normal water fountain. Can I go up and over, maybe? Or is that... Ah, oh, they put in a clipping plane. That means somebody in testing tried it. Okay, well, we've got another room that we have to figure out here. That doesn't look like it. Hey, I can destroy your artifacts. What an asshole I am. What an asshole I am. Maybe you gotta destroy both of them? Or maybe I was supposed to do something special with either of them. Take them out to dinner. Buy them some flowers or something. Or I could just go... Oh, I'm an idiot. I bet it's glass up top and I can shoot through the glass. Oh, it's just a hole. Even better. I'm just the dumbest son of a bitch possible sometimes. I think I would rather go up and over the top. This room seems really dangerous. Let's see if I can make that jump without messing it up. I could sit here and farm with Molotovs for a little while. And speaking of which, let's do our... got to do a little bit of skilling right here. we got some agility points. I'll probably finally go for... I don't know. I like that one. That seems pretty cool. Elbow charge seems like it'll work out. And then on this side, I'm still not interested in, like, throwing stuff. I'm just not. Windmill seems pretty cool, though. Let's do windmill. 
Does it require a two-handed weapon, or does it... Yeah, it requires a two-handed weapon, so that might have been a waste, but... It might have been okay, too. Go through here. Can I go through that door? No, actually. That was that. Yeah, I need to done deal this right now. I can't be trapped out in the open like this. I think he's down. Not leave me a whole lot of options, though, for traversing the room without having to get involved with some of these Zeds. And I don't think I can make... Oh, I did make that jump. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Well, I guess we'll just walk in on walking on broken glass for right now. We'll go through here. Let me get some ammo back because we are in not desperate need of it, but we definitely need it. And then for now, we'll go back to the shoddy... Aw, he blew the wrong direction. That's no fun. I was hoping he would blow the right direction. Nobody wants non-directionality when it comes to their blows. I'm gonna think about maybe... Molotoving them. These rails are really annoying, by the way. Kill the infected. Oh, okay. So that's what we're doing right now. Jump down in here. I don't know if I need to clear them out, too, or if it's all just this room. It doesn't look like there's anything too serious in here, though. Get a weapon out real fast. We haven't tried out the katana, which I should, but I'm going to save it for a little bit. Actually, no. Let's break out the katana. Why not? Katana! What yo? Gotcha. Aw, oh, man. It didn't chop his head off. You have no legs, and you're still... Your legs look like intestines. That's how badly damaged you are. I don't think I've ever seen a mob do that before. Oh shit. No. Not now. Jade! Oh shit. Oh shit, what have they done um, to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knock me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just give me a minute. Oh, I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemy? Or the good Dr. Camden? How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command them, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! That girl's infected. There's no way. As I recall, at being referred to as a trained monkey. But look at you now. Dancing for our amusement. You are strong enough to join me. But you lack the Consider this a character strengthening exercise. I think my character is strengthened enough at this point. I've been spending my time rescuing little kids. You've been spending your time abducting ladies. I am glad that we made the decision on this katana. It seems to be getting the job done pretty well. Oh, nice save, Jade. Nice save. This is why I like having you around. You're useful. I don't like it when games put me, like, all teamed up with useless people. It makes me sad. I think we went through that challenge a little bit faster than the game expected. She's, I don't know, she looks kind of jaundiced to me. Is it just me? Maybe, maybe it was just me. It was just me, never mind. She, I don't know, she looked like she had jaundice or something in the last cinematic. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious scorpion is about to turn. 
but so are you. Who will receive the Anthazy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! Oh, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane, I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Promise me! Jade, I, I can't... You know this could have all been avoided if one of you idiots had just packed- well, not her- it's not her fault, but if Crane wasn't such an idiot that he would like actually think into the future and bring Antizen along with him. Anyways, my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here Crane. at the Oh man. Crane, can you hear me? Jade, where are you? Jade? I'm gonna break the episode off here. How you do, everybody?